Sleep pills aren't on my mind. A quick change in my plans is no big deal. Don't receive Cabinuva if you're allergic to its ingredients or taking certain medicines which may interact with Cabinuva. Serious side effects include allergic reactions, post-injection reactions, liver problems, and depression. If you have a rash and other allergic reaction symptoms, stop Cabinuva and get medical help right away. Tell your doctor if you have liver problems or mental health concerns, and if you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or considering pregnancy. Some of the most common side effects include injection site reactions, fever, and tiredness. If you switch to Cabinuva, attend all treatment appointments. Every other month, and I'm good to go. Ask your doctor about every other month Cabinuva. I like my interviews to be conversation. Thank you, man. Guys like, you know, you who've been doing it for years and years. Jim, look, I'm buff, man. I wanted to show you how buff I am, dude. That's what it's about, though, Jim. This is hockey. Wild. Sports Central with Jim Hill on CBS2. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS2 News This Morning at 8.30. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday, September 11th. Welcome to CBS2 News This Morning at 8.30 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Michelle Medina. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal Eye Opener. 21 years since the 9-11 attacks. Today, the nation and the Southland honor the victims of the terror attack. Firefighters injured in a church fire, the rush to save them from the raging flames. Plus, a helicopter crashes near an airport after helping other crews dump water on the Fairview fire. As always, it is a very busy Sunday morning, but let's start off with a check of your weekend weather with meteorologist Alyssa Carlson, who's in for Alex this morning. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning. I just popped my head out the door, and it's still humid. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> so that humidity is going to stick with us again today. And we have dew points right now into the upper 60s. So that tropical air mass is in place. We're still watching as the remnants of K are offshore, and that is we're putting really that tropical moisture here all around the area and as well as the clouds. Now we're starting to see some clearing out into the desert areas, and that will be a concern this afternoon because with all that moisture in place, we may see some pop up thunderstorms as a result. So if we see heavy downpours, we may also watch for flooding in many areas from the mountains to the deserts to the Inland Empire. So we'll be looking for that. Meanwhile, heading out to the farmers market this morning, still cloudy. Aquilino. At the memorial site in New York, family members of the victims are reading the names of those killed. More than 3,000 Americans were killed in the terror attacks. This evening, the tribute in light will once again cast twin beams into the sky. Vice President Kamala Harris is there, along with her husband, participating in this somber ceremony. And earlier this morning, President Joe Biden dedicated a wreath at the Pentagon. There was also a moment of silence and reading of the names at this memorial site. Mr. Biden also addressed the crowd. 21 years and we still kept our promise. Never forget. We'll keep the memory of all those precious lives stolen from, from us. Despite overcast skies and a steady rain, dozens attended the ceremony in Arlington. Across Southern California, people are also remembering 9-11. CBS 2's Tina Esadine is live in Corona for one of those ceremonies. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. So this particular ceremony here uh, in Corona started just after 5 o'clock. Pre-dawn, uh, folks began gathering out here in the darkness to remember and pay their respects for the victims fallen 21 years ago during 9-11 attacks. Uh, you can see here behind me a live picture of uh, the different people gathering from the community as well as some uh, city leaders. But I want to point out to you just a live picture, a beautiful moment here to the left of your screen as we show you um, the city of Corona and the fire department here hoisting the American flag in the center of the ceremony that, as I mentioned, began at 5 a.m., uh, beginning reading with the names of the 2,970 Americans and others who lost their lives um, on the attacks 21 years. 